Hi Taurus, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. Um, this is your general reading for October 15th through November 15th, and the intention of this reading is to pick up on what's going on for the majority of Tauruses, whether you're a sun Taurus, um, um, your moon sign is in Taurus, or if Taurus is your rising sign. Now, um, when we're picking up these energies, the point is to always tell you the truth, what the cards say, whether it's positive or negative, so that we can make the best choices to put us on the best path to have the happiest, most fulfilling lives, okay? Now, um, if something doesn't resonate for you, you might wanna check your moon sign or your rising sign to see if that's a better fit. Or um, another thing is that because it's for a whole month long, sometimes when we first watch the video, when it first comes out, it might not make sense, but then as time passes, all of a sudden, two weeks later, you watch it again, and boom, it clicks. Because those things hadn't yet happened yet, okay? Or um, maybe I'm not the reader for you. If we don't click, if we don't mesh, um, there's tons of other great readers on YouTube. But if we do, please like the video, share them with your friends, um, subscribe to them so that you're alerted to when the new ones come out so that we can kind of give you these predictions that will help you live your happiest, most divinely guided life. Now, um... What else did I want to say? For those of you who are new who are trying this out, thank you so much for showing up. And for those of you who have been there with me on this tarot journey, I really appreciate your support. You're the reason why I continue to do these. Um, and then the last thing quick before we get started is in one month, I'm going to be announcing this um, cool new project I'm going to do that I'd like your help on. So um, it can make you famous, it's very exciting, and that'll be in November. So if you're not already subscribed, um, it's okay if you don't want to, but um, show up in November and see because it's really exciting if you're into tarot or photography at all. So, okay, anyway, this is your general reading. And so this month we're gonna start it a little bit different in which we're gonna do a general theme, kind of an overarching message for your reading first, and then we'll get into the areas of family, home, friends, money, and career. Sometimes they're linked, sometimes they're not. Um, your health, and then can never forget the love life, right? We're gonna do singles and couples love. So Taurus, excuse me, we'll just get started. What's going on for Taurus? What is the overarching message or theme for October 15th through November 15th? Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So maybe some of you are looking for your purpose this month or discovering that and kind of stepping through that, um, into that energy and really pushing yourself to live out your life's purpose. So this could be um, a very important reading for some of you. Now what's going on for Taurus in regards to your family life? Ten of Swords, it's time to heal. So maybe some of you have gone through some struggles in your family, maybe um, recent divorces, um, I'm picking up on miscarriage for someone. Now, this is a general reading, so like I said, you know, certain things are going to resonate for you, certain aren't. I'm reading for um, all Tauruses right now, so take what what suits you and what doesn't. But whatever has happened recently within your family or um, the people that you consider to be family, your very, very close inner circle, it's a good time for healing. Now, what else with your family? Um, three of Swords. So it's a time for healing, but you are still disappointed. You are still really heartbroken about it. Now, what's the best way to cope with that? I've got the Four of Swords here. You need to spend more time sleeping, okay? Now, it's interesting that the Four of Swords came up instead of the Nine of Swords because the Nine of Swords is like anxiety to the point where you can't sleep. I don't know that that's the problem. I don't think that it's fear or anxiety. I think it's just more sadness. Um, so you might be just trying to stay focused on other tasks, get through your day to not think about it, but really we need our rest because when we are not getting enough sleep, we're going to feel our emotions much more intensely and maybe in a way that isn't actually healthy for us. Um, how else can we work on our healing? Um, <laughs> this is interesting because now we have it in reverse. It just flipped right out of the deck and landed in my lap saying, though, that conversely, some of you are sleeping too much. You're sleeping to avoid dealing with your feelings on this. Um, oh, goodness. We've got a challenge in regards to this. It's the Knight of Wands, so it's challenging to take action 
for you to um, start something new, a new creative venture, something with room for growth. So this could be a hobby. It could be a new business. Um, it could just be a new way of life, a new attitude. But um, it has something to do with an inability to multitask. Now, here's that nine of swords that I was talking about. It's a challenge because there's fear associated with it. There's anxiety. It's not believing in yourself. Um, is that a rational fear? I would say not because we do have victory here, okay? So whatever that is, um, other people are going to look at you and say, you know what, that's really great. We're really proud of you for taking these steps, for working on this. Um, so... Maybe some tough stuff with family. I would say uh, that might be your biggest challenge. So good thing we got that out of the way first in our reading. It just feels a little bit heavy, but I feel like it's more things that have passed already. It's not a struggle necessarily that you're still going through, that there's things you have to deal with. It's more just feeling the emotions of it, okay? Um, but whatever happened, it did happen for a reason, and it's to push you onto the path of, more happiness and joy to put you where you're supposed to be, where you were fated to be, okay? Moving towards your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, all of that. So even though it hurts, even though it's challenging, you are headed in a really good direction full of blessings. So take that reassurance and really believe that, okay? Now, what's going on um, in your home life? And this could actually be your physical home or... Um, it could be linked to your family as well. Now, Queen of Swords. So this is saying, <laughs> the Queen of Swords is an interesting one because this person is very much the person of, I will give you a second chance. I will give you a third chance. I will hear you out. But I'm going to call some bullshit if I don't believe what you have to say here. You know, like I will not be fooled. So if this is in regards to home renovations or anything like that, dealing with contractors, it's... Um, giving people chances and opportunities, but being very keen and aware and um, recognizing if you're being scammed, that sort of a thing, um, doing your research, using your mind, your thoughts. It's saying that your brain, your logic is in the right place. And so anything in regards to your home and to your routine, um, your physical home or your home environment, your brain is working full speed and you should trust it. Now, oftentimes, I will tell you in readings, because this is what comes up, that you should follow your heart. In this case, in regards to your home, you really, really want to be focused on following your logic and your brain this month, the October 15th through November 15th. We have the Seven of Cups, and it's saying because if you think about your emotions, if you're trying to make your decisions emotionally based in regards to the home, you're going to be confused because you have your... Um, because you have your energies scattered into different places. I care about this. I care about this. I care about this. I care about this. And you get confused trying to figure out what do you care most about. So just use your brain this month instead of your heart and your emotions in regards to that. Okay? Now what's going on in your friendships this month for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Oh, wonderful. The people that you've chosen to surround you yourself with are um, helping to push you along to move towards greater happiness and enlightenment, towards joy, to reach your goals. Very wonderful. You've selected your friends very well. Um, your friends are what help get you to your happily ever after. And for some of you, you might fall in love with a friend, actually. It might be somebody that you never were like, wow, I'm really sexually attracted to you. I think I want to be with you. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh my gosh, I love my best friend. Um, that could be happening this month. But um, your friends could also be um, spending time with them because you've selected them well. They could introduce you to really wonderful people like potential partners for your future. But um, really, really great month for friendships. I would spend a lot of time with my friends this month if I could. Um, and especially because it's not that your friends are pretty drama free this month. Okay. They don't bring um, a lot of ick into your life. And to be honest, your friendships are easy. Okay. We have a number message right now that I just want to look up for you before I forget. 
It says, the Ascended Masters have heard your prayers about your career, and they've responded that it's important for you to put your entire focus on spiritualizing your work life. And then this guy jumps out as a challenge. So for those of you, when we were talking about family, home, friendships, we have this chariot card coming up again and again. And if you remember, our overarching theme was our purpose. You know, what is our purpose? And we're moving towards that. Not, this card is so talking about where you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to go, what is going to bring you happiness and joy. What is your purpose? Okay, so um, in regards to that, with our number message about your work life, I feel like some of you might be starting to think about what is it that you actually want to do? Where is it that you can benefit the world? What is your purpose? Why are you here? And for some of you, it's going to be about work. Now, let's see. Um, let's just go right into the work portion of the reading. What's going on for Tauruses in regards to work? Now, when I say spiritualizing your work life, it doesn't mean that you need to, maybe some of you want to take up a spiritually career-based, um, like a spiritually based career track, be a Reiki healer, be a tarot card reader, an astrologer, something like that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that for all people. It doesn't mean you're going to um, become a priest or a nun or something like that. It's more um, infusing the spiritual into what you're already doing, okay? It's um, connecting with God, Allah, angels, spirit guides, um, to live out your purpose. And this, oh, this is so great. As far as your work life, we have happily ever after again. And I just keep getting these messages about um, meeting new people. So if you're a single Taurus, I mean, opportunities are everywhere. <laughs> opportunities are all over the place. You could be meeting um, your forever person at work, through your job, um, living your purpose. Very cool. What else for work life for Tauruses? Eight of Pentacles. Now that's interesting. This is about focusing on the details, okay? Um, some of you are not sure that that's the right thing. We have this, it's really, really difficult to see, but can you see uh, the kitty cat right there? And the cat is kind of looking at these pentacles right here. Now, um, cats sometimes are about suspicion and maybe not trusting yourself enough. And so that's why you're hyper-focused on the details of things. Um, it's good to be focused on the details this month. Um, that is definitely needed within your career or your job um, because it does feel like maybe there is somebody out there that's just waiting to attack, you know, to pounce like a cat on something that is missed. Um, but it's not like you don't already know that. You know, you already know who this person is. You already know what their agenda is, and you're already um, guarding yourself against that. You're following your gut instincts on this. In regards to your work, you do want to be heart-focused, emotionally based. You want to ask God, Allah, angels, spirit guides, the universe for assistance in um, helping you to know where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to do. Now, for some of you, um, your career path should be specifically in regards to helping out women, okay? Um, for some of you, that's going to be there. And if I'm talking specifically to you, you will know because you will feel it. You'll go, yep, that's me, okay? If not, let that part go because it's, it's a small percentage. Um, some of you, it's actually hair. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, making people feel good about themselves, like by giving them awesome haircuts. Um... What else? What else is here? For one of you, this is very, very specific again, and I'm sorry because it's a general reading, but I do want to put this out there. It has something to do with Judaism, like um, working in a synagogue or um, like a Jewish community center or something like that. Hmm. Teaching like some sort of youth something. Okay. Anyway, what else in regards to work life? Queen of Cups. If you can get clear on what your purpose is, on what it is you want to do, on where it is you want to go, because for you, Taurus, this it's not like this for all signs, but for you specifically, your life purpose 
is a lot to do with your career because you're an earth sign, okay? It's about doing things on the daily, if not your career, okay, to fulfill a specific purpose. Now, this is saying that you will get so much emotional fulfillment if you can figure out what that is. Do you see in her hand how she has this little, I think it's a goldfish? Yeah. She's got a goldfish right there. And she's just cherishing it, you know. And there's jellyfish along the way that could sting her. You see that next to her arms there? But she's just so focused on protecting that little goldfish from the jellyfish. You know, and she's got starfish. So this is like your emotions with all the water there and sometimes they sting and sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to but if you continue to nourish whatever you think that your purpose is in regards to your work life in regards to your career you will be like you will be so proud of yourself you will be so emotionally fulfilled by that okay now what's going on in regards to your health for Taurus Sun Moon and Rising this month Ace of Swords Okay, so this is success. This is um, starting new things, getting your mind straight on what it is you want to do, whether that's a new diet, whether that's a new exercise plan. Um, for some of you, though, it's just a new way of thinking. It's about mental health, about reframing things, about thinking about things in a different way. And um, this is going to change your life. So go all in on that because there's a lot of blessings to be had. It says that for some of you, though, um, you're really struggling trying to figure out where you want to put that energy. And again, this is one of those things, just like your home life or your family life, where you want to use your brain instead of your heart, okay? In regards to our money, and sometimes our money is linked to our career, sometimes it isn't, we have a challenge here. And the challenge is the emperor. So we might not be feeling like we have enough. We might not be feeling like we have all of the material possessions that we want. We might not be feeling like other people um, respect what we want to do with our money, right? How we want to spend it. Um, goodness, your cards are so jumpy. <laughs> We might not feel like things are working out fairly. So for those of you who um, are going through those family issues, like a recent divorce, separation, something like that, we're feeling like maybe we're not getting the child support that we deserve. Or um, like our partner is not, or our ex-partner isn't contributing to the um, mutual bills that we still have, things like that. Or maybe we feel like we're not getting paid fairly for the work that we do. So it just says to focus on nurturing, though, what does make you happy instead of focusing on the sadness. It's saying that you need to remember that things are not the same as they were and they never shall be. Um, time passes and things, you know, are different. Now is not a good time to... Um, make any sudden home moves. It's also not a good time to take up a new job full time. So when we were talking about career and finding out your purpose, if you are going to start a new business or something like that, go into it um, part time until November 15th at least and just kind of feeling out the waters. We don't want to make huge drastic shifts at this point in time because it will upset our balance and um, our finances. Like, it's not saying that it's a bad investment, but what it is saying is that it, it'll it frighten you a little bit because you're the type of person who likes to just have decisions made and have things set um, and kind of knowing what to expect, and it will be a little bit unpredictable is basically what that's saying. Now, it also says that this month, um, in regards to money, you might be hesitant to spend on yourself, to... Um, spend on things that make you feel good about yourself, but it's definitely okay to do that. I feel like you had that same message last month as well. I, I mean, I guess there's 12 signs, so it's easy to get them confused, but, but you definitely do need to nurture yourself a little bit more. What's going on for singles this month? Oh my goodness. Careful what you're wishing for, because you're going to get it. So if you've been looking for, um, Somebody who is just amazing, um, that you've made, you've written out your list, you've thought about what it is that you want, it's very possible that that person's going to walk through the door and come into your life this month. Now, 
if you've been saying, gosh, I really want my ex back, it's possible they're going to show up this month. But if they were not good for you, I mean, be careful what you're wishing for, you know, because it might be the same old drama. That, um, we have the Page of Swords. So communicating, talking about relationships. This is a really good month. If you haven't already decided what it is that you want in regards to your love life, I would start writing these things down, making daily affirmations, um, describing not what they look like physically necessarily, but more the qualities that they possess. I want someone who likes to go to the movies, because I like to go to the movies. I want someone who's loyal. I want someone who's faithful. I want someone who's silly. I want someone who's funny. I want someone who has a good job. I want someone who has government health insurance um, through their job so that when we get married, I have awesome health insurance. <laughs> That's sort of a thing. Write it down. Read it out to yourself. Every time that you think about another quality that you would like to see in a partner, um, jot that down every day this month so that you can manifest it. We definitely have law of attraction energies going on for you this month for singles. Um, it says that do not take a break. Do this every single day. Every single day. I would love to see if any of you actually do this, um, how this pans out for you. Like after November 15th, let me know who you met. That would be so fun. Um, oh my goodness. Somebody is going to draw in someone real romantic. Um, maybe some of you will, but they might not be your soulmate. However, the romance part of it is worth it because it is so much fun. So go ahead with that. Um, could be a little dramatic, though. <laughs> um, so you might, if if you're that person who's drawn in someone a little bit emotional or dramatic, like as some sometime, this is like the kind of person who's at emotional extremes, right? Like one second they're super romantic and loving, and then the next minute they might be kind of jealous and possessive, and their emotions just spill all over the place, you're going to have to um, set specific boundaries, okay? It doesn't say don't do it because it can be fun and there's a lot of lessons and things to learn from this experience and this relationship, but what it is saying is to set your boundaries and to um, not waver on those, okay? Now, what's going on for coupled Tauruses? King of Swords. Awesome. So this is great. This is having wonderful communications. Everybody's on the same page. Um, you and your partner are communicating effectively. Nobody's lying to the other person. There are decisions to be made, and this is why you're talking so much. You're using your brain again. Um, you're being logical. I feel like you've made some um, decisions in your mind, but you might not have followed those through yet. You might not have taken the actions. Um, and I feel like it's money related as to why you may not have followed through yet um, because you're concerned about where that's going to put you. You're afraid to make these sort of decisions um, even though you're talking about it effectively. But it's saying if you feel like this is the right thing to do, like if you feel emotionally that this is um, – where you're supposed to be, this is the kind of decision you need to do. You've already thought it through logically over and over and over in your head. Now, based on that, taking the options that you've whittled down, make the heart decision, okay? What else in regards to your relationships? Um, paying attention to details. So this is the kind of thing where when your partner does something like that should be, um, that is maybe kind of basic. You know, you just want, you really want to um, build them up for those things. You really want to remind them that you do notice those things. So your partner takes out the garbage one day. Um, you don't ask them to, and they do it. And you're just like, you know what, that's your role, dude. Like, or, or they mow the grass. Like, duh, man work, <laughs> or whatever. doesn't matter. Um, just say, you know what, I really appreciate these little things that you do. Or, I really appreciate that you're open to having these conversations with me. I really appreciate about you um, that you're loyal. I really appreciate that when I need my space, you give it to me. Those sort of things. Things that you've come to expect, things that are normal within the relationship, you're going to see huge benefits for building your partner up for those sort of things. Um, 
It says that you'll be thinking a little bit, perhaps, about the past and how your relationship used to be, and um, focusing on the wonderful things from before that made you fall in love. And I don't feel like this is necessarily tied to vacations or travel, just like silly things that you used to do before. Like if you used to every once in a while play Jenga, bring that back into the relationship. Just say, you know what? I used to have a lot of fun with you when we did these sort of things. Let's do those again. And you'll see huge rewards in your relationship for that. Um, some of you though, are actually in the process of uncoupling. You're in the process of a divorce. Um, and just know though that anything can happen. So if you've kind of gone back and forth on it, like I don't really know if I wanna get a divorce, you have the possibility and the potential to work this out. But just like I said for the singles, where you're gonna to wanna to write down what it is that you actually want from the relationship, the changes that you wanna see, how you wanna see them unfold, um, Really focus on what it is that you want. Try not to think about the things that you don't want because you can manifest them. This is a very powerful law of attraction month for Taurus, okay? So, love and light, if you would like any assistance in um, navigating your month, I'm always happy to do a personal reading for you. My contact information is in the description box below as are links to Instagram, Facebook, um, Snapchat, places where we do other tarot stuff, and then um, Patreon where... You'll have more readings like this, um, lessons on reading tarot, crystal grids, that sort of a thing. So check it out if you're interested. If not, that's okay too. Love and light. See you um, actually tomorrow for your daily reading. Bye.